Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming, coming to you with uh, one of my only PS4 seed showcases. On this one here guys, I'm only going to make this video because honestly this is my survival seed um, and there is hella stuff in this seed. Again, it looks at first glance not to be that good of a seed, but there is at least two double spawners near my base. Uh, there is the slime chunk to end portal, there's a temple, two villages, all of this stuff and it, it was a totally random seed guys um, so I'm just gonna bring you back uh, I'm gonna jump in show you the seed here I'm gonna put this seed in the description below as well uh, a lot of people if you want to duplicate some of my mob farms uh, you could actually use the exact same seed I'll give you some coordinates again I'm not on creative mode as this is my survival seed I'm putting it on peaceful though as to let me kind of show you some of the mob grinders um, and there we go the seed is seven two zero seven three seven seven three seven three six Two zero one. 33357. This was a totally randomly generated seed um, originally when I started, so I'm just going to go ahead and load this bad boy up. Um, I'll give you the quick version. At first glance, it doesn't seem to be the most sickest seed, um, but literally, I've found so much stuff near my base that it's one of the best spots. I couldn't have chose a better spot, and it wasn't even chosen by me specifically. Um, when PS4 first came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to start a survival world. So I just let it pick a seed randomly all on its own. And then I got some stuff and, and I just started exploring and I ended up like two or three maps away from the main map. And, uh, this is where you spawn. Not everybody's going to have this. I've built in it because I've marked my spawn so that when I have uh, unwanted joiners in my game, we can all like hang out here and uh, execute them gangster style uh, on the weekends. Um, Everybody knows that if you don't have a mic, I generally won't let you hang out in my world. Um, there is too many redstone contraptions and stuff, but this is where you're going to spawn. It is a perfectly marked spawn chunk. Um, maybe I'll do a video that shows you how to do it, but end of the day, everybody's going to spawn inside this box. Um, so what you're going to do is look at your map. I have a full map as well already. Um, let's go ahead. I'm not going to change it, but you'll see it looks like an everyday map. So up there in the top left-hand corner is my base area. So... I'll continue telling the story as I go towards my base. Um, I have explored most of the most of the most of these maps, um, not all of the upper and right ones, and I've stopped kind of slowly because I know that they might be coming out with some new biomes in uh, the next update. And I know that if you have ex any chunk that you've explored is going to stay the way it is, and uh, if you haven't explored the chunk, then it will change to whatever the new biome would be. So I've kind of slowed down on the exploring, but I only really need to show you a couple things. The best thing about this map, well, I have two double spawners near my base, and one of them is a spider and a zombie, and one of them is a zombie skeleton, so, oh yeah, no way, <laughs> I was going to try to make it, but, so that's something that a lot of people keep asking, this ravine here is usually takes the lives of many people that start in my world, um, but as you look at the map here, to my right, in the direction I'm facing on the map, there is a village straight ahead. I'm going to go this way just to show you. Um, that is pretty much the only village on the full map here. There is a dozen other ones on other maps, but looking at this straightforward first map, guys, you are not going to find another village uh, other than this one right here. So I'm just going to go this way until you can see it, and then I'm going to turn right again. I know because I literally carted all of my villagers from my villager farm from this village over here. You're going to see it right there in the distance. Um... So I'm not going to go all the way there, but you will see that it's in the bottom, the bottom left-hand side of the map. Um, that's literally where all my villagers came from the first time, and then we gutted this whole entire village over there. Um, and I had to go find another village. So the next village you have to go to on this map that I found is actually on the top left-hand corner to a little bit left of the map there. So mostly people aren't too concerned this little train track goes over there the villagers there it is you got a good view of the village right there um it has a blacksmith in it it's pretty good both those villages have a blacksmith in it but i think everybody is more concerned with uh, my spawner so let's go this train track was the villager death cart and uh brought them all to their death and let's just keep going so once you enter my village, I mean, I was just off digging two maps away and then like two or three people joined my world and I was off. I actually got lost in like a mineshaft for, I don't know, like a day, even more, maybe two days. 
Um, and then when I ended up finding everybody else, it looks like they started a house. So with no thought process whatsoever, I was just like, okay, so they built a house here, you know, might as well, uh, might as well make my house here. And there you go. It all spawned from there. So that said, I have played this world a lot. So maybe this is why maybe everybody's seed has some cool stuff like this. Um, so maybe that's the first one but the first thing you're going to notice right here guys uh the first highlight point of this map is actually this door right over here um this door right here is going to be the first double mob spawner that i found in this more in this board so i'm going to go up here i'm going to give you i've never actually gone exactly in it it's not my favorite because it has a spider spawner in it um and they're not my first choice for double spawners but if you need a double spawner this right here is going to have a double spawner for you when we get to this one here I'll show you on the map where it is. But again, very close to my base, considering I have another double mob spawner at my base. So it is a little bit of a mine shaft area, but you'll see we're on peaceful right now. But there we go. We got a zombie spawner and a spider spawner. They're going to be pushing about 12 blocks away from each other. But yet again, it is a double spawner, um, something that's kind of rare, but I'm feeling really blessed lately as not really being too hard up on them because I have another one. Um, and let's go back up. First of all, let's show you the location of the double spawner, negative 311 and negative 129 uh, at Y32. And that's going to get you a your first double spawner. Um, and we're going to go back up here. It's really far down there. Blah, 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 blah. Go up. Oh, what is that? Some sort of tricky mob trap. Tricky person trap. And we're going to go up here. Hmm. Did I just get lost in my own map, really? No, it's right here. There you go. Now we're out of this bad boy. But again... This this area is super loaded. I'm going to do an overview for you guys. Again, I'm going to try to keep this video like under 15 minutes, but I am on survival, so I have to physically go show you everything. There's no flying around, and at least you know this is a real legit survival world, and I'm showing you all stuff that's there. So on that note, we head over to the base. So first double spawner out of the way. And after doing a lot of searching, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I can't even elaborate how many mob spawners are here <clears throat> within the walls of this base and down i would say there's at least a half a dozen individual mob spawners <clears throat> just sitting there by themselves including one just down in this pit right here behind that wall <clears throat> and let's go back to the thing so first i'm going to show you my other double mob spawner again this is pretty much the number one thing people have been asking for this is a perfect double spawner um you really can't ask for a better one. It is a skeleton and a zombie spawner within four blocks of each other. Um, so that's down here. What's this? Yep, XP farm right down here. So I'm just going to pop a hole in the wall that I do to show off. And there you go. We got a double spawner right next to each other. People are always, they're creaming when they see. They're like, oh my god. They're within four of each other. And let's check the, the negative 333, negative 276z um, at level y53 so this one here guys is what everybody really loves um, so again you'll just see that there is two mob spawners within i don't know 100 blocks of each other let me close that because when i come back on so this they're gonna kill my villager farm and yeah that guy would have been dust if i would have came back into survival or into hard mode so what else i'm going to show you now is let's go back here guys Again, totally lucky with no thought process whatsoever. We are going to let you know that my end portal is actually not very far away. It's just down here a little bit. So let's go and mark the end portal. Again, if I could keep this video under 15 minutes, I'll be so stoked. And the other thing that I would say, guys, is, man, this is my survival seed and I do explore a lot. And if you do use this seed and you want to build a survival base and you get to explore it and you find something cool... Man, put it in the comments. I would love to know where some of the cool stuff is, um, especially since I'm trying not to explore too much um, because of the new biomes, but I pretty much feel like I have it all covered. If I can get up to my map wall before the end of this, uh, I will. Um, <clears throat> so we're cutting this out because we're in the middle of making like another portal transportation system right now. But as you'll notice, just right over here, this is my end portal right here. So close, guys. Not very far at all. There we go. End portal right here. Let's look at the map. 
negative 198. Z is negative 457. So the one thing you'll notice is my X from like 100 to 400 is butter. It's all filled. So two double spawners, tons of regular spawners and portal. Um, there is a temple just really literally almost just outside here. Um, I'm going to go up here and then uh, in a perfect world, I wonder if I could see it from the top. I can't. So, um, yeah, you can't, you can't really ask for a better, hmm, what's down there? You couldn't really ask for a better, uh, another, I know right here, there's going to be a temple right out back. You know what? I'm just going to go to it and show you it. I'm pretty sure we've destroyed the heck out of it. Um, almost for sure. It's been p plundered and pillaged. Where is this temple? It's right out back here. I think we're right behind it. And there you go. Temple right... This is all right near the base, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I put these candles here to signify the end portal the first time I went down. Yep. And we got a temple right here. And let's just go stand on the temple. Check out the map. The temple is... 190 negative 197 and z negative 438 and there you go let's head back over to the base and uh i think the one thing that i've been working on a lot we're at 11 minutes so i think i could get you there the one thing i've been working on a lot in this world guys is my um map wall uh the map is 25 maps in comparison to the classic map which is only uh one so Getting your map wall going is going to take a long time. As much as I could be proud about a million epic builds that I have here, the one thing that I keep working on that I don't seem to be getting enough ground on is my map wall. See, I went the wrong way right there. Horrible. Let's get in here as long as I can get over there. So let's go up to the top because uh, I'll give you a quick gander. I would say I have maybe eight of the maps out of 25 set up, and uh, that would be a good place to close off and uh, end this video with you guys, and that's not that bad, but I've been getting so many requests because of all the because of the double spawner and the end portal being so close um, about where this map is. So now everybody who wants to make a double spawner like mine here, you can go ahead and just upload this map or just enter this seed into your... Uh, into your seed thing of a jiggy and let's go just gonna run up here and I'm gonna go up to the very top of this bad boy where I keep my map wall I'm gonna bring it down here I think sometime soon but honestly uh, the most valuable thing in my world is a completed map and uh, I don't want to leave it anywhere where people can hit it off the wall and uh, take it so let's go over here let's get upstairs sorry about the construction as well we're building a bunch of weird stuff right now Uh, la 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 la, and then we have to go up here. What? I have to go out the other side. No, I go up here. Oh, right there. <laughs> They're like makeshift stairs coming up. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I'm just trying to give you guys what you want. I'm not really the biggest seed showcase guy, but really, that's a drop. Oh. <laughs> this one here, I'm like, oh, really? And then let's go all the way up. Oh, dude, really? Someone broke my minecart elevator. I'm choked about that right now. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get down now. I might die but on my way down. Makes me very mad. There we are up on my mob grinder. This is pretty much the top of the map here, guys. It'll give you a quick overview. But my map wall lives up here. And there you go, guys. So that's how much I have of my map wall so far, if you want to check out the seed in that sense. Um, the middle one here, we got a fair amount of water, you know, not too much water. Up here is looking like there's going to be a fair amount of water in this corner. I haven't really done too much exploring in the bottoms. Again, I'm not going to. I'm going to let it wait for the update. But And there you go, guys. There's my seed showcase. The seed is in the description below. Tons of double spawners, temple and portal, everything right near my base here. Um... Like I said, I never never planned it this way, but looking back, I don't think I've ever seen a seed. You know, It's not necessarily at spawn, but if you were to make your base right here, you pretty much have everything you could imagine. Um, in addition, guys, I'm not even going to show you. My slime chunk is right... You think I can make that jump? No way. I don't think so. <laughs> um, my slime chunk is right under the base here too. So from my slime farm. So you really got a slime chunk, end portal, temple, uh, double spawner, another double spawner just right outside the front door there. And yeah, 
can't go wrong with that. Don't forget to smash that like if you like my seed showcases. Don't forget as well. You know what? Let's let's learn. Do you think I can go down this? I should be able to, right? Because there is water at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to see if my thing is that busted. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like tons of uh, Minecraft videos. And uh, if I die, I'm going to curse so mad right now. Don't fall through. Don't fall. <laughs> and don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Minecraft tutorials. Oh, it still kind of works. Perfect. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. I'm out.